the questions at the end of the periodicity pack. The first one says, state and explain the trend in atomic radii across period three. So using what you've just learnt, have a go at that one. So the atomic radius decreases to make sure you state and explain the trend. This is because as you go across the period, again, more protons in the nucleus, same shell, similar shielding. So there will be a greater attraction of the nucleus to the outer electron, therefore they're held more tightly. So we've sketched the graph to show how first ionisation varies across period two and period three here. No, that's for period three. Uh, you can see first ionisation down the left hand side and then obviously there will be two uh, increases so from lithium to beryllium and it goes down there's a dip remember between the second and the third beryllium to boron similarly in period three there's a dip between magnesium and aluminium then you get two more then there's a dip between nitrogen and oxygen and a dip between phosphorus and sulfur in period three Question four says use your knowledge of structure and bonding. So when it asks for structure and bonding, do you make sure you uh, discuss both of those? In particular here, it wants to be between aluminium and uh, magnesium. So aluminium is a three plus charge compared to magnesium, which is two plus. There are also more delocalized electrons in aluminium. So the metallic bonds are stronger in, element, in aluminium, therefore more energy needed to break them. Now saying why silicon has a particular high melting point. So you may recall silicon is a giant covalent lattice. It's got very many strong covalent bonds between the atoms of silicon. Therefore it requires a lot of energy to break them. Therefore it's got a high melting point. Lastly we're going to have a look at sulfur. It's got a high melting point than phosphorus. So you're looking at S8 versus P4. And that's a little bit we have to remember really. Sulfur, S8, it's got more electrons, larger molecule, therefore stronger van der Waal forces. Phosphorus, P4, less electrons, weaker van der Waal forces than sulfur. Therefore, will be easier to break.